بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام ولا رسول الله In the name of God most merciful most gracious peace and blessings be upon his precious messenger his last messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh meaning may peace and mercy and blessings be upon you and be upon your family and your loved ones. My name is Sheriff Adrami Njai, and I'm from Senegal. Over the past couple of days, over the past 48 hours, I've been wanting to cry, but each time my tears start to come out, they stop because of the anger that burst through my heart. And this agony has been going on for the past 48 hours. As a result of the loss of my sister-in-law, the wife of my younger brother, a wonderful, beautiful woman from Tunisia, went out to celebrate the birthday at a dinner in a restaurant when a bunch of cowards came in and just started shooting and shot her and her sister in front of their brother who was there with them. You tell me how senseless this is, how hideous this is, this hurts. This is a crime against humanity. This is a crime against people. This is a crime against Islam. They claim to wear the banner of Islam. This is the furthest away from Islam. This is the devil. These are hideous people, cowards. I wish that could come to me. I wish that they could come to me and let me know where to find me. I let them know where to find me and we could go in the battlefield and I'll tell them what it's like to hold the banner and to hold the sword of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the mercy to mankind. These people have nothing to do with Islam because you cannot be a Muslim and kill innocent people like this. You're not supposed to kill women or elderly or children. You can't even cut trees in case of war, in case of war. This is cowardice. You come in a concert and kill people who are not even in weapons, people who can't even defend themselves. You guys are a bunch of cowards. I am Sheriff Adram and I'm Muslim. And I tell you guys that when we wake up every day in the morning and pray to God Almighty, and we pray five times a day, and we give him glory every day, and we tell him how great he is, and we give him thanks every single day. This is not Islam what they do. I want us to be clear, this ideology needs to be abolished. This ideology needs to be crushed. We need to all get together and understand that this is incredibly wrong. This is the first time, of course, it hit so close to home and it hurts. It hurts so bad, you guys have no idea. It happens to many people, this terrorist attack, and every time you pray that, that you don't know anyone, or you pray that those people can cope with whatever pain that they're going through. And this time it hit home. It hit home, they hit my own sister. I'm very angry and I wanna share this. I want you guys to understand that it is the ignorance of these people that are in work with whoever it is that is backing them up. These are the devil. These are the people of the antichrist. These are the people who are the prophet killers. I'm gonna tell you this much. Islam is with God. There's only two ways. Either you are with God or you are not with God. And the people of God do not do this because in the name of Allah, most blessed, most, most, most merciful, we do not do this. They don't have an ounce of mercy. You cannot be merciful and kill innocent people. My sister-in-law is now gone, leaving a three-year-old and a seven-year-old, okay? We will take care of them but they will not have the mother anymore because they took her away in a vicious way. I'm angry, but I'm grateful to be here and to be alive and to be among those who can keep on spreading the love and the peace that Islam is about because it's just a matter of time. The most intelligent people out there already know, but these people using this propaganda and wrapping it around Islam is not right. This is the last religion this world will ever have. This is the time of Akhiru Zaman, the end of times, because the Prophet ﷺ prophesied that among the end of time will be Hajj, Hajj, Hajj. They say, what is that? 
He said that means killing, killing, killing. He said, by God, I tell you that the end of the world will not come until the time where people will be killing, where the murderer will not know why they get killed and the one who is murdering does not know why they are killing. The Prophet Sassam said, help your brother if he's, uh, if he's being oppressed or if he's an oppressor. And they tell him, Ya Rasulullah, O Prophet of Allah, we know how to help someone when they are being oppressed, but how can we help someone when they are oppressing? He said, you help the one that is oppressing by stopping them from oppressing. I wish we could talk to all these lunatics that are joining these people, these different names that they give them every couple of months, they rename them, and that's the boogeyman, the people that justify this war. What angers me is that I'm Islamic, I'm Muslim, and I look online and I see these people insulting my religion. It is adding salt into my wound. They just killed my sister. But then they're telling me that it's because of my religion that this is happening. And I want to tell you that it's not the case. These people are sick. They're nutcases. They're cowards. And I wish I could see one of them and talk to them. Or if they want to deal with me, they can come and find me. I'm sorry to sound like this, but that's the anger that I get in my heart. But Allah, God Almighty, is Al Muntakim and He is the ultimate avenger. And to His ends, to His hands, I leave it to deal with them. I just wanted to share this emotion that I get and hope that at least one person can keep on going and do more research and understand that this barbary need to stop and this is ideology that we need to stop from the source. Different generations will come. But if we do not stop this ideology, it's going to keep on renewing itself, renewing itself. And with the backup of these governments that are not doing much, but sending drones and sending bombs and creating more harms. This pain right now is the pain that happens whenever they bomb people out there. That's their own families that are going through this grief. I pray God to give us peace in our hearts to be, give us serenity, to give us the belief and the faith in our hearts and to stay strong through everything that life has to give and to anything that this world is gonna throw at us. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Sheriff, your brother in Islam. Peace.